This is the red is black. Okay. okay, so we put this on minus. Oh my god. Hi, I'm Christian. And I'm Vera. And in this episode, you're gonna learn everything about wiring on a Land Rover. Red is black and plus is minus. Hope you enjoy the video. Oh, he's gonna put scratches into my car. Oh. Did I show you my Sahara sand yet? That's as close to Africa as I'm ever gonna get. Of course, we're gonna show more than red is black and plus is minus. In this video, we're gonna show you how we installed this on off switch for our winch right here which I got harassed about not doing that for at least six weeks. And yeah, by addition, me, by the way. And in addition, we're gonna show how we cleaned up our wiring of the battery, which I got harassed about at least six weeks. By so, me. Ah, this we gotta still fix also. Oh. Yes, this may be boring from the technical content, but trust me, it can still be entertaining. Oh my no. god, he's gonna drill a hole in my battery pole. Yeah. Hope you enjoy the video. Well, here we go. I want the switch in this aluminum block so I can turn my winch on and off with it. So let's get that done. Here's the switch I made in the watertight housing and I'm gonna mount this behind the grill right here. There we go. Absolutely watertight. Now we gotta close this up. We're gonna put a little bit of silicon glue on here. So this is absolutely watertight because there is no such housing you can buy. So good. Cool. Lunch is ready. <laughs> Really nice. So here's a switch and he runs a cable all the way over there. All the way. Yeah. There we go. And then he finds out that the cable is too short. <laughs> it could be long enough. Yeah? Okay. So he's going to have to fabricate a new bolt. Yeah, in order yeah. to rig up my winch finally to the battery. Yeah, I don't see an easy way. <laughs> so we're going to make this, or we just drill a hole through it. You're not going to drill Sorry. a hole through my cam battery. Yeah. Through the oh so. my God, he's going to drill a hole in my battery pole. Yeah, it's the easiest way to get this job done because this has been bugging me. So we're gonna put an M6 in. An M6, like eight Newton meters of torque. Ten. Ten. 
but it drills a lot better if you got a sharp drill bit so I have to sharpen my drill bit. So I'm gonna sit here and enjoy the nice weather while Christian is sharpening his drill bit. So it's always embarrassing if you sharpen your drill bit and then it's not sharp. Okay, we cut a thread in there. Yes, every hole has to be touched three times at least. So, and now yeah. we can mount our cables to this pole. It should be a screw with a thin coating. Okay. So, so let's see if this was completely stupid. I don't see anything. So, we can tighten this. Now, maybe we should put with battery pole grease on this. What yes, we bought it. So we might as well use it. Must be this. Yes. That's a special battery pole bolt. It's been used, but... <gasps> oh my God. Yeah, your glasses. Um, yeah, I so can see without glasses. Use, I'm supposed to use a grass washer. Yeah. And here, see, that was a good idea of yours because we do have copper washers. Yes, we can use them. We can use them. Apparently, we are going to do an entire episode on how to rig up your battery, <laughs> how to wire your battery. We're gonna wire in also these poles here. Yes, from the um, air compressor. The wiring for this stuff is very simple. Red is black and plus is minus. Red is black and plus is minus. <laughs> yes, that's something I would say. Yeah, it always fits this. One. This is the red is black. Okay. okay, so we put this on minus. Oh my god. We we'll put a stake on on here. A what? I, ah, I, I okay. call them stake on, but of course you use a licensed scrimp tool, which is Excelite, made yep. in Sweden. Yes. Yeah. I cut this, and this is then the plus. Oh uh, my God! Now it's gone. Um, there must have been a bad stop accident. Stop recording for a moment. Yes. He's gonna hate me for creating so much content, but we are looking for what what are you doing that box oh yes wow i'm impressed look you even got copper washers with it yes this yeah. is definitely good yeah this red piece of tie wrap i marked the red is black and plus is minus yeah this way it's not getting confused another of out of your box yeah don't want to create what's called a spider this is not a pretty connection. See? Oh, it didn't hold. Yeah, the reason is that this is not, this is a Chinese, it's a Chinese one, I have to get a German one. Oh, I don't understand why he buys that stuff. These are American. Yeah. Thomas and Betts um, stay gone, so I have to use this plier. Oh, cool. Yeah, so. That actually looks like it's gonna work. It's gonna work. Yeah. Yeah, see, this one fits perfect. And we had, what would we you do like, without me? Didn't we have like this other tie wrap? Where did this now go? It's not a tie wrap. Yeah, it's, it's a, a, shrink a, a shrink tube. Oh, it's a shrink tube. <laughs> so I'm looking for a tie wrap and he's complaining that I can't find it. If I say tie wrap, I mean shrink tube. <laughs> so, so we only got one of those screws. Yeah, we Don't only drop got one. it. See how nice this works. And we're going to need a 10 millimeter Spanner. A ratchet spanner. I'll no, get it. A regular spanner. Okay. That's 10 millimeters. Yep. Thank you. Now I'll have to crawl onto my car again. So, that's really good. Oh, don't burn it. Oh, <laughs> so, this is not the prettiest in the world, but it's a good connection. You can see everything is connected red to black and plus is minus. Yeah. <laughs> check if our compressor works. How am I supposed to check that? There is a switch on it. Oh. I... Really? Oh my god. So watch it. No, it's working. It's working. Oh, it clicked. How cool is that? All we gotta do is wire up this confusing wiring here. We should label those wires so I know what to do. Plus to minus and red to black. 
or the other way around? Red is black and plus oh. is minus, okay? <laughs> Everybody okay. should get that formula at the end of the video. If yeah. you wire it like this, it will always work. <laughs> now he got the soldering iron out. The soldering is way better than any crimping. But my soldering iron sucks. Is it too clean? Yeah, it's it's because I used it to melt plastic. <laughs> Don't do that. What did I want to lecture about? About how soldering is better than crimping. There are two reasons to use solder. You don't have any crimping attachments like I do. <laughs> because I don't have any. Or... Or... I forgot reason too. <laughs> I actually forgot how I was going to do that, but all these go together now here. Oh, I hope you put plus to minus and red to black. There. There. Done. Now we can turn this off before it melts a hole. The winch should work now again. Let me show you first the temperature around here. This is what the temperature is, okay? Yeah. Here. This is Vera's new remote pouch. Yeah. So if I turn this now on, yeah. Then I should be able. Oh my god. Oh. How is that? But we're gonna have to mark it with on and off because we're gonna forget. Yeah. Right now it's. Yeah, but you don't see if it's on. Yeah, well, you have to, you know, you have to know it. Oh my god. Burn up my car. I'm not burning anything. There we go. So we got this all nicely wired. See, I, the cables are coming here. This is the fixed wired winch yeah. remote, which we don't really need, but it's, it's connected and hooked up. And you want to make sure it's not pushing that button. <laughs> so no. this would be dangerous. Yeah, yeah? okay, whatever. Now this Here's my cover. Okay, so we're gonna cut this somehow. This corner is really weird that it doesn't... Maybe you should let me do it because I was able to put that one on just fine. We're gonna cut this like this. This must be the most boring video ever. I think you gotta cook some coffee. We should add a coffee cooking segment. <laughs> Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Yeah, I think you need to go over here a little bit more. No, it's perfect. Look, perfect. it's in there and oh, done. Okay. We got a mark now. What's on and off? I have no idea. Right now it's, it's on. So here on this end and here it's This is on, and up here in the corner is off, and we can get some nicer stickers. Oh, I hope nobody sees it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Good. Now our winch project is finally completed. Done. I put this back in the holster. What you made? Yeah. We already filmed the content of my recovery bag, but what I also got now, which I think is most important, I got spare batteries for the remote control. <laughs> so he's talking stupid stuff. Look at our trailer. Yeah. Oh, our trailer is like new. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a little bit flimsy. I hope it will last. <laughs> We are prepping that lock to winch it out, you know, so we got that one for free and that's brown wood, the stem is sold, probably to China. The plan is to roll this one onto this rope so we can strap it up here because this one is sitting 
flat down. There's yeah. no chance to get anything underneath. Here's my remote, you know? <laughs> my job is now to watch for mountain bikers, especially e-bikers who think there is no tomorrow. Parking brake closed? I hope so. Oh, I didn't know it was supposed to be running. Oh, you see that? You have to watch that there's no bike rider. Yeah. Oh no, my car is actually moving. And no mountain bikers. Oh. Can you see him over there? Ah, oh, he has to step on the brake. See the log? It's moving. So, yeah, so we've got two more days. We've got unexpectedly a lot of timber. Because we had some bad timber. Yeah. All this crown timber here, not the big logs. We get all the split pieces here in the front and we have two or three of these locations. So that's a, that's a lot of additional timber because we paid good money for the last timber we got. And there was just a lot of scrap and we took pictures. <laughs> <You're so into laughs> it. You're gonna sleep alone tonight. <laughs> I don't know why Germany needs to export wood to China but that's exactly what we, what they do with these logs here. Because we harvested here now at the side of the forest. And this is a bike pass here. So there were a lot of people going by complaining to us. Why are we harvesting this wood here? Those trees look all healthy. The best was that one woman who complained. She wasn't the youngest anymore. But I asked her how she heats her home. And she honestly did not know. No, she said she she's got no, no. Say. She said she has radiators. Yeah, she was yeah. And I said, well, what is that? Oil based or is it gas based? And she was embarrassed to say, most likely. Yeah. And we said, well, we harvest the crown wood so that the rest of the wood can get sold, and we heat our home with it. Yeah. We'll try it if I. Push oh my it God. Here. Oh. It's gonna drain our battery and then the mall crawler has to come so it's all wired up remember red is black and plus is minus <laughs> of course there is a bag <laughs> yes I sued that bag also for all of our compressor needs <laughs> that's a pretty good spot I think for someone who needs it only once a year. We already used it three times this year, or four yeah. times. Mm. Oh boy, we might get stuck. I hope everybody got the message. When you wire something on your Land Rover, red is black and plus is minus and it will work. Your wife will be all convinced that you know everything about electricity. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video and see you next Sunday. Well, I wanted to babble more stuff. I wanted to say yeah. thank you to all of those who oh, support yeah. us on Patreon. Yes. And I also want to say thank you to those who send us messages and tips so that we can improve our video content and stuff. I want to thank Walter Garbauer. For those awesome stainless steel brackets to mount the valve pack, 
underneath the bumper. We're gonna take off our bumper at one point and pack this in a video. I think 2,000 years from now, when they dig up old Land Rovers in the yard, they will find basically that piece and think, wow, this must have been a really good and reliable vehicle. Yeah. Another thing I wanted to mention, we also got Instagram accounts. You see them right here. Vera got her own and I got one. Um, please go check them out. There are usually posts which give you a hint on what's going to be upcoming um, in the next video and so on. So that's really it now. Um, if you like our videos, please go check out our other videos. And in any case, sag du noch was. I hope you liked the video and we'll see you next Sunday. Okay, we'll leave that ending. Yeah, because right now I'm stressed because Christian takes a car down. Oh my God, that is the worst part for me. Oh, you're going to hit the... Oh, Am I hitting no. something? Yeah, because there is a drop off. Okay, I maybe I out. should maybe I should concentrate on backing up the trailer. So we'll see you guys next Sunday. Yeah. If see everything goes well. Yeah, nothing goes wrong. So I'm getting gas, diesel, and it's only two euros and well, nine, ten cents. So well, that's great. So Christian is expecting unreasonable things from me. You have to explain your wife exactly what to do when she turns off the car. Okay, we were just discussing that when you have an extremely hot engine, you shouldn't just turn off your car. And the explanation from Vera why this is no problem is, well, because the cooling fan runs after you turn the engine off. And I said, no. This is not a Toyota. This is a Land Rover TDV6. And the cooling fan is driven by the serpentine belt of the engine. So that technology to run that cooling fan with the engine off is not existent in this car. Yeah, but that sucks. And in the same, <laughs> in the same discussion, I brought up that if you're running your air conditioning, so it's freezing cold and chilly in here, while it's about 30 degrees outside, as we would be living in Australia, you should not turn your engine off abruptly and turn your air conditioning off because it will cause moisture and mold and condensation in your air ducts. Instead, but and I'm, I'm sure every person knows that, you have to turn your air conditioning off, turn over, and turn the heater on and let your heater run warm air for about 30 seconds and then you turn it off. Please everybody write in the comments that everybody knows that and does that. Okay, there is not a single person who will run the air conditioning chilly cold. There's somebody calling. Chilly cold and then turn the engine off. Oh yeah, there's somebody calling on the cell phone. Well, I'm talking already. <laughs> So that's a missing clip for the D column cover, a single one made in France, shipped from the United States. Can you believe that? So you see he has a free coaster. That means if he rolls backward he doesn't have to move the pedals. So the plan is that he does a bar spin over the box. The box is actually quite huge. Cool! Wow! <gasps> shit, that did not sound good. Where? Holy shit. Der könnte gebrochen sein. Ich würde nur ausbauen.